is the same name as our Mr. Rollins say over there, the main host. And I like it this morning when I told me both of us become our square, Rolls Royce. Alright, or <laughs> out to the power or whatever. Okay. So we there are two Roland here. Roland say is a main host. I'm a small little Tony as a partner here for today. The key aspect that we are talking about today, and very what Roland say just mentioned, and the same as what Edwin, we are all having a big pain, right? Where is the pain? Look at this guy. Fully chained up. There's a big pain on his head. A big headache. Plenty of panadols. And I really have to thanks uh, Edwin. Edwin. Yes, sir. Edwin, sorry. He was so nice to promote video conferencing twice in his message early on. Alright, I'll thank you for the quick introduction, quick uh, uh, introduction and uh, the, to present video conferencing. Where I'm coming from, I'm from YG Singapore. We are the uh, distributor for video conferencing product, which is a brand called Ava, which I believe not many of you would have heard about it. I believe most of you would have heard the bigger name out there in the market. Of course, I'm not here to mention my competitor names. Alright, that's why I say this is the pay whereby your mindset is very much locked down with a big brand name, big branded. Alright, for example, I mean we're talking about four wheels, you will heard of BMs, you've heard of Mercedes, but we are the small little people's car, or well, because it's referring to the Volkswagen, alright, which is another European, but we're talking about the smaller little vehicle. But this is just another mode. Or another mode of transport for you to conduct a simple video conference. And I believe many of you as business owner, many of you are your entrepreneur yourself, perhaps one man show or two man show. I believe many of you would have done so using this tiny little application free for your laptop, for your desktop, which is our Mr. Microsoft Skype. All right? We are trying to move you to introduce to you a proper codec system. Codec set for codec decoder, conferencing system, all right? Which I will be using some part of it here. To move you, to upgrade you away from your tiny little laptop with a tiny little webcam, where you might be a little bit miserable amplifier or speaker system and miserable microphone. And two or three huddle of you together in front of the camera is too small, right? Upgrade yourself. Be more professional outlook in a small little tiny little room, it's okay, fine. The camera is good enough to capture yourself. They are yourself and the whole group, rather than two, three of you sitting right in front and sharing on a full miserable laptop. So this is where we are coming in. We introduce to you the Ava brand of video conferencing. It's been out there in the market for the last at least for five years. MIT, all right, MIT. Some of you might be thinking MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, American brand, no. Made in Taiwan, all right? This is a pure made in Taiwan product, not MIC, not made in China. All right, so Miss China brand is a separate. This is pure Mr. MIT, all right, Taiwan brand itself. So again, yes, we are trying to remove the headache, remove your barrier, all right, free up your mind, give us a chance to demonstrate, give us an opportunity to showcase to you what Ava can do for you, all right? So, we are talking about video conferencing, of course, the key aspect here we talk about productivity, which Edwin just mentioned. Cut down all your unnecessary flying, all right, and of course, thanks for the quick introduction to your PSC program and the uh, ICV, which you can click, and of course, do not abuse it, otherwise, you land up like what some of those uh, directors behind bars have heavily been fined. Uh, ours, as our government, they are very smart in looking into that itself, so don't abuse it. Right. You abuse it, you answer it for yourself. All right. So we do not want you to go into that aspect here. But definitely here we are talking about a tool, a tool ready for you to upgrade yourself. And I keep on emphasizing, do away with your Skype, go to a proper room, conduct a proper meeting. All right. So that you can meet face to face with your counterpart. Connect onto your internet line. Thanks to Singapore, fiber is everywhere. Correct? But fair enough, our neighbors, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines and Thailand, they may not have enough fiber. They may not have enough bandwidth for them to conduct a proper video at a low rate. And again, when we talk about the pains of video conferencing, Roland's company, they are good in an IT firewall where video conferencing is concerned, well, that's a pain because they are going to block all my voice and they are going to block all my videos. All right? Nothing can go up. But not to worry, they are the experts. They know how to open the door for you to allow the voice and the video to go through. Okay? so. They are the experts, so they are good at that, so cannot be wrong. And 
as you look at the chart over here, over the spread, uh, this is based on 201, 200 Gartner Research, which is one of the uh, reputable uh, consulting firm, uh, by collating all the reports for all the various video conversations. So it's still a very much big market, despite the fact it's only 201, for now it's 2014. Every year, the chart has been keep on going. Well, not to mention that I hate to mention about natural disaster, calamities that is out right now in the world. Our good old friend in South Africa is having a hard time, so do visit them. Maybe perhaps have a visit with them over the video, all right? And you're safe from the Ebola itself, all right? So not to capitalize on that uh, natural disaster that we're having at, at operate. So then again, video conversation, bridge the gap. Big market going to grow up, okay? For those of you who have yet to experience what video is all about. You may have seen it on your laptop, on your desktop, small tiny little screen, fine, all right? Then again, we are here to hopefully to upgrade you to a bigger conversion. Uh, the number range of products very simple. Like I said, the key aspect of what able product offering you is simple ease of use. Full IPU compliance. IPU is an international telecommunication union whereby it, it takes and the government, the manufacturer, in terms of interoperability of all the various brands that I'm able to communicate, I'm able to communicate and connect to the various bigger boys out in the market. Be it brand A, brand B, brand C. Can perhaps somebody tell me what the brand you may have heard of in the market? Minus are my uh, top dealer over there, sitting over there, keep it quiet, very good. Anybody have any idea what are the biggest boys' names that you have heard of? Say again? Polycom, that's the uh, triangular, right? The star piece, right? All right, fair enough, all right. They, they, these are the big giants. So these are all full interoperability. They are able to connect. So this is where we talk about the IP compliance. Yes, able to make it simple. Five simple products. The EVC 130, 130P, HPC, EVC 300, and EVC 900. Yes, this is the MSRP. As you can see, the MSRP. Manufacturer suggested radio price. And some of you are very much aware I don't mind what this thing up here. You can see for yourself. It's as good as if you want to buy a polycom product, I can give it to you. Or I can literally I can give you two of my product itself. Let's get to look the later part and do each individual product. This is where we come in, where we position ourselves. We are not gonna fight with a lot of all these big boys. Where they are standing today. I mean, there again is where Mr. Polycom is coming in. Alright, now of course we mentioned Mr. Microsoft himself. All right, and uh, the bigger boy like Cisco. All right, able to be simple. All right, uh, for primarily we're targeting all the SMEs people like you out there. Entrepreneur, right simple. All right, and this is the main segment. So of course, I to mention about the traditional PC, which is some of the advanced and again the software. And not to mention again today we're talking about clouds, clouds here, clouds there, clouds everywhere. So there are several many providers out there as well for the club services. Then again, perhaps I'd like to emphasize, here we are in Singapore, we have the luxury of big bandwidth, big part, thanks to Mr. My Republic, 1 GB at 49.90 per month. 1 GB, 1 gig, big part, more than enough for you to carry to deliver your video. More than enough. But don't forget our poor neighbors, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam. They don't have that luxury. So, fair. in a way, yes, we think Singapore, <coughs> we can make nice lovely video call on HD quality, high definition. Like we are not watching on the television, which is our TCS 5 or 8, whatever, and they are only on HD, which is 720p. Not even the full HD of the technical terminology that we call the fair HD. Alright? Where you it is? Yes, they have been out there. Primarily, is the Taiwanese, this guy. They have reached a lot of. Uh, Sorry, over here, that's okay. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the ISP, they tied up with all the telecom so that when the end user or the customer want to subscribe, the internet services line, they bundle up with the video conference system, uh, plus other bot uh, providers, all right, the US, and video as a service provider. So these are some of the bigger things that they have done in other countries, all right? Uh, these are some of the big uh, companies that over the years and uh, with various countries 
Our latest collection over here, which I have to share, but I will share with you, Singapore Supreme Court just got a system for us. So, not that bad. At least we have really made roads right now into our Supreme Court, whereby our nice lovely government, normally they tend to be very high handed, they only look at the big brand boys. Uh, luckily, uh, one of my partners here managed to penetrate into Supreme Court and he says, not that bad. And the day is called saving, is a key word aspect, and not to mention productivity. Uh, quickly, I have to give you an introduction between the more various models. We have uh, a little bit of the so called old one called the HBC, and the new range is what we have right now is the EBC. The main aspect of the HBC, alright, today what we have is a full on the point HD, direct recording, fire PCC. So these are very much technicality, not to worry about it itself, uh, which I will can explain to you the data part when we have time. Otherwise, going through every single feature, all of you will sleep, all of you will small. I'm not going to go through that. For the new series of EDC, this is strictly purely all the 10 ADP, or this is the 7 ADP. So some of you might want to go to Harvey Norman or Cost of the Wire TV, remember to key for the word. Are you buying a HD TV? Or are you buying a full HD TV? It's two different words. Don't get called by the salesman. When he says HD, we are talking about 720p resolution. When you talk about full HD, that's 1080p. So this is a HD, that's a full HD. Like I said, we have the luxury out here because we have five one. Don't forget our neighbors, they don't have that. They are very happy with just a HD, 720p. Uh, this is the uh, 720p, or the model 7, uh, 330. It comes with a built-in four sides multi point which means it's able to connect to four other parties, one plus three, so to speak, which is of course in the four sites, built in three, full years warranty, and key aspect, direct recording, all right, which is immediately while the conference is running, you plug in the USB into an instant recording. This is the first in the world, all right, for this table to provide this such lovely feature here. For other manufacturers, such a feature would easily take a minimum 12 to 15,000 US dollars and above. Forever, is built in, all right? So as you can see, the 720p, very powerful, simple, seven times optical zoom, all right? And some of other nice little tools over here. And of course, I have my static display over here. Not to worry, should you need to have a good, nice demo, call me, we'll be at your side doing the demo, rather than inside this conference room, which we have back in terms of a physical connectivity, that's the internet, all right? This is the EVC, full 1080p, all right? Full HD, the EVC series. Alright, and that's a 130. Alright, HDMI, today we are talking about full HDMI connectivity, no longer use of that much of a VGA, which means every movie into a HD, 3 years warranty. Alright, nice simple, but the only one thing, so to speak, yes, this is a 130 entry level, alright, which is a wide angle 88 degrees, very wide. So, which means in a small tiny room, color room, you're able to fit in 3 more percent. Alright? Uh, what else do we have here is uh, the only thing they take note about would be this is a digital zoom as opposed to an optical zoom. As you can see over here, these are all the uh, optical zoom wall, the EVC here, this is a digital zoom. Let's look at his later bigger brother here. Look at the number here that I'm going to show you, 130, and then move on to the next slide as a 130P. As you can see, it looks 100% identical, and then over the next slide, that's the main difference. With this camera, the same engine, you get this part number. With this same engine, you get this camera, you get a different part number, but look at the zoom. This is a much bigger, much more powerful zoom. Of course, price point was just a little bit. Alright, FOB is a field of view, big angle capture for a tiny little space at 88 degrees. Well, the bigger cameras, the e cam, slightly smaller at 67. Alright, so these are supposed to be, so to speak, your entry level. You can even use the market at home, alright, and call your friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, papa, mama, your kids are overseas, and they might call, because I know most of you are using Skype, we are going to pay, alright. Fair enough, go for the corporate point of view, alright, if you want to still use your free, we are not going to stop you. This is the EVC 300, slightly bigger boy right now, alright, it's a slightly bigger engine, but the same camera, the same microphone, the same remote control. Alright, so what's the main difference between the 300 right now? So this is slightly bigger, again, they are based on an engine of 1080p, 30 frames per second. This is running on 1080p as opposed to earlier on the HVC, which is 780p. So this model 300, if I go back a lot, 
few more slides, it's exactly the same as this. This guy here is 720 EV, alright, this is a 720 EV engine, while this guy, alright, here is the 1080p and alright, 1080p, and it has a built-in four sites multi-point. That's when you're able to connect to another three more sites. That's a 300 model, alright, that's a 300 model, and we have the next one, that's a 900 model, yes, which looks 100% exactly. Look at the next slide, you'll see better. So there's the two main differences. With the 300, they give you four sites connectivity. You can see all the four sites, everybody together on your main screen. While the 900, look at the layout. Literally, this video, you see all the 10 sites. It's a full building, six server. Yes, this is again another protocol that we use in the world of video conferencing. So in the world of video conferencing, they speak two language. It's a 323 and SIP. This is a little bit too technical. I'm not going to get into detail itself. All right. So these are the two aspects. So the main key difference, same engine, the only is the high side. Whether you go on four sites or the ten sites. That's the difference between the 300 and 900. All right. Yes, nice very strong pictures. Of course, you can have two television, two monitors, so to speak. One for you to see the human aspect and one for you to see the content, especially when you connect your laptop so that the file will run on your desktop. All right. This is the industry of like I said, we really want to emphasize. And this is a signature feature. All right. Other brand is of course not that the one child is being up in the dollar. Forever is directly used a generic standard USB, plug it in, while the conference is running, and do a recording. Alright, and subsequently what you can do, immediately directly the playback via the or via the uh, PC player. This is a PC player directly which you can download and once you finish, you can convert the video to a generic uh, commercial standard dot MOV file using the QuickTime player. So it's very versatile. Three moves for you to play for. Alright, directly from the codec, using the player or using the QuickTime. So they can share, pass it around. We have a streaming server, you can stream it on the internet, and everybody can view it and watch it anytime. Good for the training, all right, good for you to archive. If you miss any meeting, whatever. As long as you archive it well, you can play back anytime you want. Uh, that's the real audio aspect, and I'll be wrong because we need to have a good audio capture of the human voice, not to speak too loud and is it too soft, all right, if you speak too soft, of course, there's a certain specific distance, a good picture of range of three meters. Uh, generic sign in the market, AEC, acoustic echo cancellation, noise reduction, and gain control. These are generic markets. And not to mention that another additional aspect that is you can do perform a cascade, which means if you think one month is not enough, you have a big long conference room, like for example, this conference room that we have here. Alright. I need to now install multiple additional external microphones. We are able to allow to connect up to four mics. Each of these is a good picture of range of three meters. So it's more than enough to cover this whole thing itself. So that the fine participants don't have to raise the voice, don't have to shout too loud. Alright? Uh, for the technical aspect, we we'll sit in the back room to do the maintenance. Yes, they can have all the web browser, the login <coughs> remotely, and perform the maintenance and do the whatever changes that you can or that they need. And here we got all the viewer display, as I mentioned earlier on. You can have your main monitor. Sometimes most of you might want to connect to a projector on a big wide screen like what we have over here. We call it a dual monitor environment, dual screen display. Alright? And of course, I have one small little uh, example which I showed over here. That is a document camera which I have one sample at the back. You can use the document cameras for a small, tiny little object that you need to zoom in. So it also carries a manufacturer of wide range of visualizer, which is used a lot in school. Some of you in the manufacturing one, you zoom in on the PCB circuit or whatever component that is small and tiny. In the good old day, of course, what we're going to do is going to pull it right in front of the camera and stay there. Hold on and don't break our way machine. Alright, so don't do that. Alright, get a proper tool. Alright, so we try to solve the problem. Uh, yeah, these are very technical. This is a very technical aspect whereby customers, IT will be looking at so what can be helpful in terms of technically aspect in terms of line, QOM, which is a lot of that and we use the word quality of service. <coughs> These are all generic <coughs> offerings, whereby most of other players they would have. So here in uh, every point of view, they call it so called that helper, high vision, long spectrum recovery. Because for video conferencing, sitting on the internet, on your land, 
packet load is crucial. These are the pitfalls, packet loads and delays. All right? uh, these are some very technical in terms of what is done when the packet loss comes in, it triggers, it kicks in, all right? you try to rebuild some of the lost packets. All right? So again, more on the subject of the hot tools that we have here with on land, very technical, not to worry. Your technical guys will be able to understand some of this, but not too much of the, uh, for the commercial point. But we provide all these services built into the system. All right. <coughs> nice little bit of client tool. This is pretty new. This is primarily <coughs> for the two models, the EVC 300 and 900. We call it the easy meetup. So with this nice little bit tool, you can download onto your laptop, and you can join the conference anywhere you want. It's likewise the same thing on your mobile phone. On the Android base, on the iOS, you can download it, and you can join the conference. But there again, as much as we talked about today, Nice and fancy, carry your phone, all right? And start putting on your headset and walking on the whole office, hopefully with your good Wi-Fi coverage, <coughs> and start attending your conference. Put it this way, all right? I'm sorry. Nobody does that. You want to have a proper meeting, go to a proper room, walking around with your super salesman, collecting million dollars just by a phone call, attending a meeting over the mobile phone. Nobody can do that. That's put it this way, in real world. But this is nice to have, and you hardly can see it really anybody who wants to conduct a proper video meeting using a mobile phone or even an iPad for that matter. Alright, at least, okay, fine. Sitting in a room with an iPad, fine. That's a really big screen enough. But your small animal phone, I'm not too sure. But at least, not to say that we don't have, they will give you the options. Alright? These are all free for download. While unfortunately, the EBC client, a little bit of license, just for a time, the fee, which is, we can embed it together with the right? That we can expand for now. Uh, very technical for most of you here. This is a simple uh, box at the back where all the various connectivity and where video conference concerns, you can just take your camera, your televisions, your microphones, and your speakers. That's all. All right, of course, in the network and in the cloud. All right. And this is the connectivity for the uh, 300, which is today you can see very much. They are all on the HD quality running on the DVR. Some of these are very technical in terms of technology. Uh, they give you the full HD, 10 DP, as opposed to where we allow you to go back to the traditional VGA, which is some of the older projectors that we have up there that's using the VGA connectivity. And today, the new models, they are all on the HDMI. They give you, again, the full HD quality picture resolution. All right? Okay, I finished my quick 20 minutes of presentation. Thank you, everybody. So, thank you.